Hey, what is up, awesome people? Shady Bags with Got Your Back Gaming, and this is going to be a pretty short fishing planet guide because a lot of what I talked about in the guide for Naharan River carries over here to Louisiana. This lake is primarily a catfish lake, so unless you're fishing in a competition, those are not what you want to be going for here because of the cost of bait, the time to catch them, and the amount of money versus the weight of the fish. The better option, again, is going to be the bass. I'm going to show you where and how to catch those catfish, alligator gar, and also a money bass spot. Okay, to catch flathead cats, you want to start at swampy open space, and I'm using a 5 out hook with blood. You can use medium or large cut baits if you have them as well. Set your lead to 92 inches and cast way out there, just a little bit left to that tree. From here, you're going to catch channel cats, flathead, and blue catfish. To weed out some of the smaller fish, what you can do is switch off to a larger bait, like medium or large cut bait. And to cast for the catfish, I use the 12-foot 4-aught crankbait. You can purchase that from the store here in Louisiana, but not till level 29. There are other crankbaits here, but the 12 seems to work the best for me. Just reel that in on 2 or 3 speed till it sinks to the bottom, then stop and let it float about halfway up, then reel it back in again till it sinks to the bottom again. Okay, the other spot to catch catfish is at the Pelican Hut. Just follow this walkway down, and right here at the end of the dock to the right is one of the deeper spots in the lake. There's a deep catfish hole here. Just set your lead to max depth. From this spot, you're going to get channel cats, you're going to get trophy channels, and some blue catfish. To catch the alligator gar, you want to head over to down south and use a 5 aught hook with shiners and set your lead to 35 inches and cast out just a little to the right of that tree. The thing I love about fishing for these gar is that they will run and they'll put up a fight to the very end which makes for some really great fishing. The problem with the alligator gar is that they are very specific when they'll bite. They seem to only be active at the very top of that peak time and when it hits that peak you can catch one after the other, but as soon as that time is gone, they'll just quit biting. So take that into consideration. Okay, and now for the bass money spot. We're going to go back to the Pelican Hut and take this path around. and right out there is two large branches sticking out of the water. Equip a 5 out hook and shiners, set your lead to 37 inches, and cast right out to those branches, and it's not going to take very long, and you're going to be hooking either a largemouth bass or a bowfin. This spot is money. You're not going to be bored here because you're going to be pulling in fish after fish, and again, these actually are a better value per pound than those catfish. Another advantage is it's easy to cast for fish here as well. Use the one third ounce three out bass jig, cast out past the branches, and just reel it in straight and slow while kicking up the jig with the right mouse button. And those fish will literally just jump on that hook over and over. I hope you guys found this information useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you take the time to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. And until I talk to you again, have a good one. Later.